boom check out the mountains you guys that is insane the humongous <laughs> Hey guys, we're back here in Salt Lake City. If you don't know why I'm saying that, that's because last week I actually uploaded a video of me exploring downtown. So if you guys are interested in learning what there is to see and do in downtown Salt Lake City, definitely check it out in the description down below. Anyways, you guys, today we have a very different video. Today, we're actually doing a very popular hike here in downtown Salt Lake City. We're hiking Ensign Peak. Ensign Peak is a very historical location here in the city. It's a very nice hike and at the very end you can get some pretty amazing views of the city actually if you google where to see the best views of downtown salt lake city like the skyline that's going to be one of the options so definitely a place that is recommended all right you guys i say we don't waste any more time i'm actually waiting for my uber right now uh, that's going to take me all the way to the base of the peak and then we're going to go ahead and hike all the way to the top so if you guys are interested come with me Just like that, we made it to Ensign Peak Nature Park. This is not actually the peak. The peak, I don't know if you can see, but it's that one over there. But this one is the park and the start of the hiking trail. Check it out, Ensign Peak Nature Park. And apparently it closes all the way to 10. So you can witness the sunset, which is what I want to do today. If we keep moving, then we get to this little section with a bunch of plaques. We're gonna go ahead and read them and see what they're all about. So the different plaques that you'll see right at the entrance talk about the significance and the history of Ensign Peak. The first two plaques that you'll see at the bottom talk about the trail itself. They tell you a little bit about the things that you'll be able to see once you go through the trail and once you get to the very top of the peak. This one over here talks about the first explorers, which were Spanish missionaries who were on their way to their California missions. This one over here talks about the first pioneers so the people who built this city a lot of you guys might know that mormons have a lot of influence and presence here in utah and of course salt lake city but do you guys know why as you can see here it talks about how the first settlers of the salt lake valley were members of the mormon church they were being prosecuted and as soon as they killed their church leader and founder they decided to make the move all the way from illinois to the salt lake valley the leader of this move or expedition i really don't know how to call it was bringing young they also have a plaque here talking about some of the american indian tribes that uh, make this place their home and one thing that called my attention from this plaque is that one of the tribes was called the ut tribe that is where utah ultimately got its name from ut tribe utah the more you know i'll tell you more as we're making our way to the top so i just found this sign I don't know if it's hard to tell or not, but this way, so to the left is Vista Mound, and then to the right, it takes you all the way to Ensign Peak, all the way to the top. It was not in my plan, but I might go check out Vista Mound first, as is, I think it's like that over there. You know that group that moved all the way from Illinois to here? Well, when they got here, I think it was two days after, they decided to come to Ensign Peak in order to get like a grand view of the land. That's how they decided to stay here. They were like, this is the place. I think that's one of the quotes that you'll see in some of the plaques here. And this is where they came in order to plan the city. I think we just made it here to Vista Mount. Whoa, you guys, the view is so crazy. Let me show you real quick. Boom, check out the mountains, you guys. That is insane, the humongous. If I can zoom in just real quick, that is Salt Lake City. This building right here is actually the capital building here of the state of Utah. And this area over here is downtown. Like I said, I made a video of downtown last week. So if you wanna check it out, 
it's in the description the view is just so insane you guys it's so beautiful check it out the huge mountain range over there and then of course downtown i really want to stay here longer but i think the sun is coming down so i'm gonna go ahead and keep hiking there's another path that takes you all the way to hell canyon i don't know about you guys but i'd rather go to ensign peak <laughs> let's make our way there guys we still have a long way to go and the sun is coming down fast But as soon as you get to these areas with a lot of like shadow, it gets so cold, you guys. Right now I had to sip on my jacket and I think I'm gonna put on my gloves. Look how shiny this side of the mountain looks. And look, some people are hiking over there. They look like little ants. The other side over here is looking on point as well. We still have a long walk there. And sorry if I'm uh, looking at the camera, it's so muddy and I don't wanna slide. That would be tragic. Over here, you can also see all the snow on the side of the mountain that hasn't melted. Check it out, it's a lot. I hope I'm going in the right direction. There's a path over there, but there's this one that is drier. So I'm guessing this is the one that most people are taking. That's where I'm gonna go. My shoes are gonna be destroyed after this. I know it. <laughs> I like how there's like little sitting areas all throughout here with like information, but I'm mostly glad about this little cubes so you can sit down and rest. This hike. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be easier, like all the reviews on Google, but it's turning out to be more than I thought. I think it's mostly the mud, like sometimes you get stuck in the mud and that adds some like difficulty, I guess. Anyways, we're almost there, let me show you. We are here, we only need to walk, go a little bit around and we'll be there. It's definitely best practice to turn every once in a while because this place is views galore. Check that out guys, that is out of a painting or something. So beautiful. That is so crazy! This has to be the perfect way to witness a sunset. And I know the sun is kind of bright, so I don't think you can see a lot. But over there, that, all this over here is the Great Salt Lake. I think I mentioned that in the beginning, but the Great Salt Lake is the namesake of Salt Lake City, obviously. Really, really hoping to make my way all the way to the Great Salt Lake tomorrow. So if you guys are enjoying this video, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in watching that video. All right, let's keep moving. The sun is almost down. Wait for a sun. Don't go yet. Not yet. Mission accomplished, I guess. You can still see the rays of the sunlight. I don't even care. I think it was a success just because the hike was amazing. The views were pretty awesome and we made it here. I'm gonna show you some of the views and then I'll tell you a little bit more about this and about that. That over there is downtown Salt Lake City. Let me zoom in. Boom, there it is. Beautiful downtown. Over to this side, you can see the mountains in all their glory, check it out, amazing. So like I mentioned at the bottom of this trail, this is where Brigham Young said his famous words, this is the place. This is also where they started planning the city. As you can see, this place gives you an amazing vantage point and therefore it's a great place to make decisions. And right on the monument, you'll see this little plaque over here. It tells you more about the same thing that I've been telling you about how the settlers came here. And apparently it also has like biblical meaning. It says right here that when they ascended, it was suggested that this was a fitting place to set up an ensign, which is apparently in the Bible. Therefore, this place was named Ensign Peak. It's starting to get dark, so all the lights are coming out. 
and over there i really don't want to bother that person over there he seems to be relaxing but someone left a huge teddy bear the little bear is like no why have you forsaken me father if you think about it it's actually kind of sad like they just left them all chained up and everything poor little guy now it feels like the sun is coming down a little bit faster it's getting kind of cold so i think it's time for us to head down i think i'm the last person here tonight you guys anyways i don't think there's a better way for me to end the video than here at the top of ensign peak like i always say i really like to bring you guys along with me hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys did i'm gonna go ahead and ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one anyways you guys just to remind you to always be kind have an open mind i'll see you next time